what it is. That's what I think. I just believe that he don't think he's he's ready for me. Why did KSI back out of the fight? You know what I mean? You gotta ask yourself that. Did he did he back out? Cause he's irrelevant? Cause if he did, why did he take the fight first? Yo, hey, what's going on guys? We're Pat the Clutch here back with Brandon's video man. And today we got my fight with KSI is cancelled by Slim. And to be honest, man, I was gonna make a YouTube video saying why Slim was going to win. But I guess the fight is canceled, so I can't make that video no more. So I guess I have to make this video now. Just watching this. Um, so let's check it out. My fight with KSI has been canceled. The funny thing is I find out by this guy just casually deleting his posters on social media. His fans caused a ruckus online. And it kind of bummed me out, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I've only been chasing this fight for like two years since the very first Misfits event when he called me out. Slim looks good. I want a piece of that. He gave a chance to face he, he, Kemper he right after- He did not want a piece, man. I knocked him out, which made no sense. He also gave Joe Fournier a chance who was a no name, a nobody. And like he 40 plus him. years old and sucks at boxing. But when it was my turn to finally step up to the plate, he- called me out to a gimmick 2v1. It was the most stupidest idea ever. Like, you know, I, it's something I never wanted to do. I asked for a one-on-one, -on -one, I pleaded for it. But it was the only way he would accept to fight me, and I accepted. We did a whole press conference, guys. I flew all the way to London, England, did a press conference, did media, hundreds of interviews, photo shoots with misfits, all this stuff, man. I trained my ass off for eight weeks, sacrificed my whole summer in here in New York City, and New York City in the summertime is a beautiful place, I'm telling y'all. But I've been in the dungeon training really, really hard, and if you guys keep up with me on social media you would see that and now that we're less than one month away this dude just casually deleted his posters and says nothing about it the weirdest thing is the posters got deleted as soon as i made this tweet and it was about weight bullying as soon as i got word of ksi backing out the fight i made a tweet ksi backing out the fight i knew he didn't have the balls to step in with me after calling me a bitch last year we know who really is one yes i'm standing on business bro he, I, i'm still not gonna forget that moment when he called me a bitch for ducking salt poppy we had negotiation issues and they brought it to the public which i didn't like i kind of went on a little rampage of tweets after that i also said ksi has officially duck slim laughed my ass off what a bitch he even asked yeah, to when fight him slim was offered to fight salt um everyone was like telling Slim to sign but he didn't want to sign it at first you know what I mean? And then KSI was calling Slim scared and all that. And then Slim was like, all right, I'm going to take the fight because everyone was calling him scared. So he took the fight and he beats Salt. And now KSI and Slim were supposed to fight and Anthony Taylor, which it should have just been Slim, but it wasn't. And now he backed out. 180 slim said sure now ksi has gone missing pathetic and this is the same exact tweet he made to me during my soul poppy negotiations where i did not forget because my, my name was trending and i was getting violated by all these ksi fans they were cursing me out calling me pussy for months y'all like I'll, I'll never forget that it was, it was it was frustrating bro i'm like damn like this is what people really think of me now he tried to destroy my image yo you know what I mean? if you gonna say this about somebody and not only that back out the fight bro when you have a fight with him like come on son it's crazy to me that's actually insane to me honestly i also posted a picture of my my physique I thought I was looking good I'm wearing some W shorts uh, That J-Pole gave me And his, and then people are just thinking That I'm trying to take sh shots At KSI But not really honestly Because J-Pole sends me his shit I'm cool with J-Pole too People think it's like I'm trying to use that Against KSI No it's not Honestly it's not But KSI He just completely ignores everything You know even his fans Are asking me Yo KSI why'd you pull out the fight Yada 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 What's going on Like he, he didn't make no statement Or nothing He's just completely ignoring it On social media right now And uh, he just responds to Pete on Twitter And says oh this is actually nuts. And I came at him again on Twitter saying, I think it's more nuts that you pulled out the fight after trying to convince the world you can handle two on one. And you clown out outside people pulling out. He clown outside. But, but how, how do we know he actually did pull out of the fight? Because I still don't think, I don't still don't know if he did. Like, I'm just hearing from Slim, but I've never got like an actual announcement, so I don't really know. We're pulling out. Let's not forget that. And he tried to make the world think that he could take two people at the same time, like me as as one of them that's, that's what's more upsetting bro this guy really tried to make himself look good that he can handle two guys who are above his level i think i'd say you know what i mean like it's just it's frustrating you know you, you guys have i wouldn't say anthony taylor's above ksi's level i wouldn't say slim is way way above ksi's level either i think it's kind of like a neck and neck type of thing but i still think that slim would probably be beat KSI like he has a chance but um KSI could honestly like he has a chance too like I think he could have possibly be slim you know what I mean but I think um if KSI were to fight slim and lost that would ruin the Jake Paul fight 
So I think he should have. You know, I mean, if he doesn't want to ruin the Jake Paul fight, then it makes sense why he backed out of the fight, man, because he probably thought he was going to lose against Slim. If I'm being honest, like that, that just makes it just makes sense. You wouldn't if you're going to lose to anyone, you got to lose to Jake. You know what I mean? Because if you lose to Slim, you can't fight Jake no more because it's kind of going to be invalid because it's going to be like, you know what I mean? You just it just it just makes sense understand my perspective it's, it's kind of annoying he's doing his most to belittle me and not only that just ignore everything that's just kind of like bro. and KSI fans might be like oh like you're delusional this and that like you know what I mean like realistically I'm not like it's it's you guys who are delusional because why did KSI back out of the fight you know what I mean? you gotta ask yourself that did he did he back out because he's irrelevant because if he did why did he take the fight in the first place am I right why, why was he calling him out two years ago to fight you know what i'm saying it's 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 for a reason man oh it's kind of like pretty disrespectful if you ask me honestly i dropped a couple more tweets after all them abortions ksi finally learned how to pull out is a funny comment come on come on that's <laughs> pretty funny but seriously y'all like imagine just chasing a fight for years finally getting the opportunity doing a whole press conference face off going to england training your ass off for weeks missing your whole new york city beautiful summer just for it to fall in your face like that bro why do i have such a hard route i feel like i've always had the hardest route in life man i don't know man i i, I don't know what it is and ksi just makes a series of tweets just acts like nothing is going on literally you know ain't no way jake paul did 70 67k pay-per-views oh my first draft what we saying bruv uh what we saying Derek Chisora, like disrespectful bro like he's just not even saying nothing at all he's not saying nothing about it and i, I would think like yo is something going on you think he has an injury or something i seen a picture of him on a private plane literally he was on a private plane he just looks out of shape as fuck bro look at him he looks mad fat he looks chunky he looks like he's not been training and i know he's realizing that i've been training my ass off he knows i've been training hard so that's what it is that's what i think i just believe that he don't think he's he's ready for me. I don't think he's ready for me. If he backed out this two of you want to do a one-on-one -on -one with me, I'd respect it more. But I don't think he wants to fight. I don't think he takes fighting seriously. I think he's a punk for this, bro. How you agreed to do this shit and then cancel last minute? I put my whole energy into this. When I could be living my New York summer and be doing things with my life. But this he, guy he was inside the Mr. Beast video, though. Wasted so. my summer after eight weeks and then says something about Makes it. Makes no sense. Well, he didn't even say nothing about it. He just deletes the post. Like, this brother really thinks he's Michael Jackson or something, bro. He thinks people are just going to completely forget about it. It got posted on The Zone and everything. Everybody in the whole community is wondering what the hell is going on, too. But let me know what you guys are thinking, honestly. I know KSI fans are going to back him regardless no matter what happens but it's just man you, like I want, I want you to understand how like from my perspective you gotta put put yourselves in my shoes you're getting the biggest opportunity in your life you're training hard for it just for it to crumble in your fingers for no reason like I don't understand man it just, it just makes no sense to me I'm I'm obviously I mean, yeah I mean it, it was a money fight but like you just gotta realize like he backed out of the fight for a reason it's that simple you know what I mean that's, that's all it is to it upset about it i'm gonna continue to be upset about it and like this is shows like I i'm gonna keep screaming duck i'm gonna keep screaming duck until he gives me a chance honestly that's, that's what i'm gonna do hey man hopefully all you guys did enjoy drop a like subscribe to our notifications if you're new become part of the clutch gang i'm gonna catch us in the next video man it's been more clutch because they know me because they know me yeah then you all pack hands in the air heads back because they bumping my shit and we about to go 